page 301, question number three. The elastic constant for a spring is 750 newtons per meter. So we have a K value of 750 newtons per meter. Part A, how far must you stretch a spring from equilibrium position in order to store 45 joules of elastic potential energy in it? So we have an energy of 45 joules. And we are looking for our x value. So using our spring energy equation, kx squared divided by 2, we're rearranging for x. We have to multiply by 2, divide by k, and then square root. So we get 2 times the energy divided by k, and then we have to square root. So we get 2 times 45.0 joules divided by our k value, 750 newtons per meter. Square root the whole thing, and that will give us our answer. So square root 2 times 45 divided by 750 gives me 0 0.346 joules, or sorry, not joules. We're looking for distance, meters as the amount of stretch. So when it's stretched 34.6 centimeters is when it has 45 joules of energy stored in it. For part B, if you want to double the elastic potential energy stored in the spring, how much further would you need to stretch it? So in this case, we're going to be dealing with 90 joules of energy. We're going to figure out the stretch, then subtract them to figure out the change in the stretch. So going back to this equation to figure out how far we have to stretch it, x is equal to 2 times our energy divided by our k value, and take the square root. So we need the square root of 2 times 90 joules, double our original 45 joules, divided by 750 newtons per meter. So square root of 2 times 90 divided by 750 gives us 0 0.489897 etc. meters. So to figure out the change in length, it's going to be our final length minus our initial length. So our final length is 0 0.4898 etc. meters minus our initial length, 0.346. Minus 0.346 gives me an answer of 0 0.143. The 8 causes the 3 to round up, so 0 0.144 meters as the new length. So we have to change the length by 14.4 centimeters in order to double the amount of energy stored in this spring.